picking a crate for the right animal is is quite important. We make crates to fit every animal from a little mouse to a you know 90 kilo dog and we'll always find a flight that fits the, that fits the crate as well. You know ideally we'd have dogs running around on the plane but um, that's never going to happen so they have to travel in International Air Transport Association approved crates and they have to be quite large for them to be allowed on the flight itself. Dogs should be able to walk in comfortably, turn around comfortably, uh, stand up, sit down, lie down, um, straight out. The cats need to be snug but they still need the same requirements a dog does. They have to have, be able to sit up, um, stand up, be able to lie down comfortably and turn around in the crate. Definitely pride ourselves in making sure that that's done right from the start um, to avoid any last minute issues. So like I said, we have a service that um, we can go out to the house and measure the dog, make sure it's right, but it's more about the, the animal's comfort and welfare. Airline approved crates must be of sturdy construction and it has to have metal bolts all around with a good metal door, hinge top and bottom, a handle, round ventilation holes. And it has to be, of course, clean and leak proof. The mat in Sahara's crate is a stay dry mat and it uh, stops the water uh, from sitting on top of the, the, the paper and therefore keeps her dry. So if the water drops or she has to go to the toilet, the water will go straight through and go into the paper and keeps her nice and dry and warm. In my opinion, the pet definitely has more room in comparison to us when we fly. If you're sitting in economy, it's pretty uncomfortable, whereas the dogs can, can stand up and turn around and they've got their own little space. They get the good deal. <laughs>